Hey, what's up guys, I'm Cole, and today we're going to be keeping up with my series of reviewing Arrow, and I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on Arrow Episode 2, Welcome to Hong Kong. The episode starts off with flashbacks to last episode, with the Monitor basically scolding Oliver for interfering and, and telling him that he's the reason that Earth 2 got destroyed. So not too long after this talk with the Monitor, Diggle and Laurel show up, uh, they're in this sort of Chinese gang they made upset somehow i don't know uh, monitor works in mysterious ways but they get out of that and they meet up with laurel and laurel is in distraught after oliver tells her that her world is just gone and uh she instantly what any sane person would do try and find a way back to earth too and save her family and friends and this is an emotional side of laurel that we haven't really gotten too much in the past i know there was that one redemption arc where she went undercover with uh wow what was her name the the other girl the banshee that i don't know her name but it was like arrow season seven and she went undercover and she was about to go over to the dark side but felicity sarah and dinah actually brought her back and that was probably the last we saw of laurel before she went back to earth two in season seven and uh oh yeah there was a one time in the finale but besides that we haven't really seen her since so uh this was a nice episode so the point of the episode they're trying to find a scientist i think his name was like dr wong or something like that not too long after that katana comes back i mean with the title like welcome to hong kong who can you expect besides katana and china white or china Wei? Now, let's talk about Oliver for a second. After the Monitor kind of scolded him for Earth 2 and after he watched everyone die, he's kind of on this direct path to just get the scientist and give him to the Monitor. He just wants to get done with this crisis as soon as possible, and he doesn't want any more lives to be lost. But this actually creates some conflict when Katana comes back and she is like, you should be questioning what the Monitor is doing with the scientist because too many people are dying and you just, you, you need to know, you need to be sure. So at the end of the episode, Oliver goes, to her and it's like i'm going back to nanda parbat there are organizations way older than uh shadow spire or not shadow spire um crescent circle so he's obviously talking about the league of assassins uh, although when we left off um there was some thea stuff going on uh what was it the, the, the thanatos guild they were trying to relive malcolm's dying wish or something along the lines of that but yeah honestly i think this episode was really dope it shows a growth in oliver uh, you know I'm, I'm starting to notice a trend it's only been two two episodes but i'm starting to notice a trend that oliver is kind of like you know obviously the first episode was based on the first season it was like the first season crawled up in one hong kong was season three um so they kind of skipped one but this this episode is hong kong and the next episode is going to be nanda parbat which was also season three so yeah this will definitely be interesting it, it's kind of like him reliving a whole season's worth of growth in one episode and it's a really really interesting dynamic i've really enjoyed the pacing of the show this season it doesn't feel forced or anything it just feels different i've noticed this with the flash as well there are, is mystery involved like it kind of reminds me of season one of both seasons there's actual like you don't know what's going to happen next season five was probably the most predictable season of the flash of all time you know it was just oh what's going to happen here oh he's got oh oh the fastest man alive that can run two hundred thousand times the speed of light oh he he got defeated by marbles oh and he didn't get back up and and he lost a honda civic oh okay i all right, I mean, it is a sci-fi show. Anything can happen. But uh, yeah, wow, season five was terrible. Anyways, yeah, um, this episode was very, very nicely paced. The whole arc where Katana almost died and Oliver realizes, hey, we got to... I, I want to prevent this crisis, but hey, we got to figure out what the monitor is doing because he's so mysterious. Uh, but one of the last things I wanted to talk about was at the end of the episode, which was actually crazy. Uh, I'll maybe play like a little bit of it. So yeah, the monitor has been talking to Lila Michaels. And I did hear a lot of people talking about it was since season one, uh, which would be crazy, but not totally out of line for Lila. Lila is the head of Argus, right? Before that, she was in the military. She's always been this person of power. Uh, you know, she can call a drone strike wherever she wants, you know. But I think this is really cool going forward because, you know, Crisis, obviously, she is meant to be Harbinger. Her codename since, like, season one was Harbinger. And apparently in the comics, she actually double crosses the monitor and goes to work for the anti-monitor so uh let's uh see how comic accurate they're gonna be but uh this will be very 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 interesting going forward uh something that we kind of already expected but like i said she's a woman of mystery the monitor is very mysterious at least for now and uh yeah we'll just have to wait and find out um so i'd probably say like a mm, as far as episodes go uh like an eight out of ten 
Um, my standards are pretty high this season anyway, so if it, there's a disappointing episode, I'll let you guys know. But this was definitely an 8 out of 10. Minor step down from the premiere, but it's still a really solid episode. And uh, yeah, can't wait till next week. Nanda Parbat, gonna be crazy. Uh, Thea's coming back in the trailer and everything. So uh, yeah, those are my opinions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.